Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, ScooterATVSales.com, bringing you a very short how-to video for you customers that lose your fob and your remote start or your remote kill on your ATV. You could purchase your remote starts and kill or alarm online, you guys, so they are widely available. They are very, very universal, so if you lose your fob, you guys, then it's easily replaced if you choose to continue using this right here. And we're gonna show you what's involved in it. Now, most ATVs, Chinese ATVs, they do install and mount the alarm or controller. Not, now, not all the ATVs have the alarm included. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's hard to tell. But they do have the control module if you have a remote kill. This particular one on the Cheetah XR from Tao Motors, it has the remote kill as well as the remote alarm, you guys. Remote kill, start, and alarm. So. On the Tao motors, on other Chinese models as well, it is mounted here in the front as shown here. Would you grab me that face panel over there? So this is the front of the face right here of the Cheetah, you guys. And you would remove this and then you would find your uh, module over here as well as your alarm. So it's either mounted here, you guys, as well as it is mounted at times underneath the body kit over here where my fingers at around here where your battery's at so just look for it around here and there's a plug on it and i'm going to hand it off to ty right now we're going to show you guys how to plug this in it's really easy anyone can do this you guys it's not hard at all so go ahead go ahead tyson okay so basically you know plug your old unit from here and then when the new one comes you just plug this in if you have a siren that will just plug in right over here along with this unit here and then we got the adhesive pads on the back you'll peel the backing off okay and stick it down to the uh, stick them down to the uh, uh, to the metal down there with the uh, okay so you're gonna there. mount it there on the cross member metal there mm -hmm. or any other place that you feel it would be it would be able to mount mm -hmm. so you have the adhesive behind the alarm you remove the uh, adhesive tape here so you can mount it as well as this and then you can use what additional can you use a zip tie on yeah, that additionally put, a, put extra zip ties on there just to secure it down especially with the off-road one so they don't fall off and flop around and okay you all right so that's fair enough work. you guys as uh, you just heard tyson he what he mentioned it's easy to, it's plug and play so uh on this particular one we needed a new alarm on there as well as a remote kill and start so we just plugged in this new one you guys again if you lose your fob this is the best way to do it if you want to if you choose to continue to use that fob so we got that plugged in let's show our customers uh, as well as our subscribers how that works now to start the ATV so you got it plugged in you guys and okay. what we're gonna do is we're not gonna mount it yet but we showed you where to mount it but uh, Tyson's gonna show you now what to do here okay well you want to make sure your ignition is on and to uh, start, we just push the uh, lightning bolt button on here twice. And there you go. It starts right up. As you guys can see, how easy it is to reinstall one of these. So if you lose your fob, this is how simple it is. Now let's kill it there. All right. There you go. It shuts it down, and then this has the alarm feature. So uh, let them all hear what that alarm sounds like. Okay. Right, you guys so if you want that alarm as you can see it could it can be annoying particularly if the kids want to play with that so i hope you guys understand this it is super easy it's plug and play you guys and you just remove the adhesive tape on the alarm as well as the module mount it over here we're going to remount it over here you can use some zip ties for additional uh, mounting and security to keep it nice and tight on there again other locations you could find it would be underneath near the battery area over here so there you go you guys like comment and subscribe hope all is well we thank tyson here for pointing out the tips over here and uh we'll uh, see you guys soon take care